In this video, we'll be analyzing our transposing macro. And if we remember steps we recorded, we should understand our code easily. So let's start debugging our macro. So F8, F8, and now first line. It's important that the A2 cell is active. We are starting from our active cell, so A2, then we are going offset one row down, zero columns. Then from this position, we are going like some doing something, so dot. What are we doing? We are looking at range A1. It's not exactly range A1, but from this position, we are looking at the range that it's the same size as range A1. So it could be even B1. It doesn't matter. It means one cell. In most cases, it's unnecessary because we are looking at one cell. And then we are selecting this range. So we can even delete this part, leave it like this. And then we have highlighted uh, with yellow the less code. The shorter line but we can press ctrl uh, f8 once more and now we are now in a3 cell a3 cell is an active cell and from here we are press ctrl shift down arrow and thanks to that we are selecting range that starts from selection so from a3 cell in our example and then the this is the first cell from for a range and the second cell for a range is from selection so from a3 cell we are going where to the end to the end down so we are selecting range from active cell to the last cell in range so this is this range and this dot means select so okay we can go down so f8 once again selection copy this range was well, selected now we are copying it so yes our range is copied now we have to go almost the same of the first row but this time we are going one cell up. So it means from A3 cell to A2 cell. And we can go control F8. Now and now VBA editor highlighted two lines. Why? Because for editor vba editor it's one line but it this line is too long to shown so at the end of the line we have space and underscore and means we are going continuing this code in this next line and just like that it could be more user friendly this code so now we are pasting special where in a2 cell so the cell above our selection so f8 again and we paste our cells copied range now we are we have select a2 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 cell is active one so from this cell we are going once again one cell down one row down so f8 again and this time once more we are selecting whole range so once again we use ctrl shift down arrow shortcut so from selection we go to the end and because we press control shift it's as a range and then this range we select it okay so from this point f8 again and now 
we will delete turn off cut copy mode copying mode so we can press f8 again and our selection will be deleted so selection dot deleted and uh, with option shift up so we can f8 again and we stop our macro and we go to the next loop next macro we could start our macro again but we don't have to uh, do this from vba editor we could use our control shift -T shortcut or at least from vba editor we can press f5 play button and do one one at the time until we go to error and we could end this code because we make all changes all transposing we need 